Uh, this year is being dedicated Leila Nishmas in memory of Rochel Leah Bas of Chaim Tzvi. The uh, Musaf service on Rosh Hashanah is a unique Musaf, unlike that of any other occasion throughout the entire year. Uh, in order to understand it, we'll go over very briefly the structure of every Shemona essay that we recite, and perhaps to begin by noting that the main section of every tefillah, every time we pray, whether it's on Rosh Hashanah, it's on Yom Kippur, it's on Shabbos, it's on Yom Tov, it's on a regular Monday, an ordinary Thursday, morning, Shabbos, Mincha, afternoon, Meir, evening, the main part of every tefillah is the Shemona Esrei. Uh, so-called Shemona Esrei, because it consisted at one time, initially, of 18 blessings. So it was simply called the Shemona Esrei, the 18, but it refers to the 18 brachas, the 18 blessings. In some circles, it is referred to as the Amidah, primarily among Sfaidim, but the Ashkenazic sources as well. The Amidah means the prayer that is recited while standing. Uh, but whatever you call it, it is the main section of every tefillah. Uh, there is a common thread to every tefillah that is recited, namely the opening three brachas and the closing three brachas of this particular prayer known as the Shemona Esrei. Uh, whenever one recites the Shemona Esrei, again, Shabbos, Yantif, a weekday, morning, afternoon, evening, it doesn't matter, one begins with the first three brachas, which are primarily brachas, blessings, that serve to praise God. They are brachas of Shevach. And they begin with the familiar Baruch HaTo Hashem, and each bracha concludes Baruch HaTo Hashem, whether it's Magen Avraham, the first one, Mechai Hamesim, the second one, Hakel HaKadosh, the third one, which is altered to HaMelech HaKadosh, uh, in the High Holidays. Those are the first three brachas, and they are common to every Shemona Esrei. There are inserts which uh, are added on certain occasions, one-line inserts, uh, including on Rosh Hashanah, as we spoke about in the previous year. Uh, but basically, these three brachas are constants. The closing three brachas of the Shemona Esrei are also constants. They begin with the word Ritzei and conclude with Hamachaz Yishkin HaSol Tzion, that's the first bracha. Hatov Shimcho Lechon HaLaodos, that's the second bracha. Halvarach HaSama Yisrael BaShalom, that's the third bracha. Some alter that also on Rosh Hashanah. But again, those three are the constant brachas. They are brachas generally understood to be representing the theme of Hoda, of thanks. The highlight of that section is the Modim. When we bow and we praise and we, we thank God. These are brachas of Hoda. So you have the first three brachas, which are brachas of Shevach, praise. The last three brachas are brachas of Hoda, thanks. Those six blessings are common to every Shema Esrei that is recited at any time during the course of the year. What changes, depending upon the time of the year and the, and the prayer, the middle section. On an ordinary weekday, again, Shachar, Semincha, or Mairev, in the middle of those opening three brachas and closing three brachas are 13 brachas, 13 blessings, consisting of various requests, bakashos, where we beseech God for certain things, both individual needs, such as wisdom and understanding, such as good health, such as the ability to make a living, to have a parnasa, as well as communal needs, requests to rebuild the Beis Amikdosh, to reunite the Jewish people in Israel, and so on. Uh, those 13 brachas are, as I say, brachas of request, which are recited every single day, no matter what time we dive in, it's min chor mayr, and so the total number of brachas is 19. As I said earlier, the Shemona Esrei consisted originally of 18 brachas, that's why the name Shemona Esrei is there. That name stuck even after another bracha was added, even though technically there are 19 brachas now, but we call it Shemona Esrei. I always like to point out that in... Um, in English, for example, we also have certain words or certain titles that stick to something, even when that title is not exactly correct. I remember that uh, um, when I was growing up, no matter what brand you had for your refrigerator, it was referred to as a Frigidaire. Everybody had a Frigidaire, even though it was a brand name, that name stuck. Band-Aid, the name sticks, even one of other company manufactured. Uh, Xerox became a verb at one point, even though it's a company name, and you wanted to photocopy something, you Xeroxed something. And so there are many things like that. So the same thing in our uh, tradition, the word Shemona Esrei, the term Shemona Esrei stuck even after the 19th bracha was added. But that's the structure of the Shemona Esrei, the same first three brachas, same last three brachas, in the middle 13 brachas. However, on Shabbos, and on Yom Tif, and on Yom Kippur, and even Rosh Hashanah, other than Musaf, we do not have those 13 brachas in the middle, but rather that, we have one bracha in the middle. It's longer than the, the, uh, the, the standard brachas, but it's only one bracha. It is a bracha known as the bracha of Kedushas Hayom, the bracha which describes the sanctity of the day. Something special is recited to call attention on Shabbos to the fact that it's Shabbos, on Yom Tif to the fact that it's Yom Tif. We make reference to the name of the Yom Tif. We make reference to 
uh, the the, the uh, theme of the Yantif. And we conclude with the text on Shabbos, Baruch HaToshem, Mikadesh Shabbos. On Yantif, we conclude, Baruch HaToshem, Mikadesh Yisrael, Bahazmanim. That is the middle bracha. So there are a grand total of seven brachas on Shabbos and on Yantif and on Yom Kippur, and even on Rosh Hashanah, other than on Musaf again. The same usual first three, the same usual last three, but this one bracha in the middle, known as Kedusha Sayom, the sanctity of the day. When we come to Musaf on Rosh Hashanah, however, we discover a different category of Shmon Esrei altogether. It is a nine bracha Shmon Esrei. There are nine blessings in the Shmon Esrei. The same regular first three, the same regular last three, and I say the same, there are adjustments, but basically the same. And now we have something else in the middle. Instead of the one usual bracha, or in addition to the one usual bracha of Kedusha Sayom, we have three special brachas known as Malchios, Zichronos, and Shofos. 